Now for some science news that was 13 billion years in the making. The White House has revealed the first full-color image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA says that the photo is the deepest look into the universe ever recorded, taken from a million miles from Earth. The images show the earliest stars and galaxies ever observed. The telescope, a joint project between U.S., Canadian, and European space programs, is expected to operate for up to 20 years. It's the most powerful telescope ever to be built. The James Webb Space Telescope, developed by space agencies in Europe, the US and Canada, is intended to explore the oldest galaxies in the universe. The new telescope is about 100 times more sensitive than its 30-year-old predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Thanks to a 25-square-metre mirror and infrared sensors, it can detect galaxies, stars and planets that are hidden in the visible spectrum by dust and gas. The telescope was under development for more than 30 years and cost about 8.8 .8 billion euros. Thousands of engineers and hundreds of scientists worked on its construction. More than 300 universities, organizations and companies from 14 countries were involved. In December, the telescope was finally launched aboard an Ariana rocket. One month later, it had reached its outpost 1.5 million kilometers away. Scientists hope its images will provide insights into the early period after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. It will also examine the Earth's immediate surroundings in our solar system, as well as look for habitable planets with water resources. And uh, astrophysicist Anthony Marston joins us. He's working with the European Space Agency. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. What is special about this image released? Oh, good morning. Yes, uh, that's a special day. We've been working with it on this for a long time. And here we have an image that is taking us back after a very short length of time of using this telescope we're able to go back to uh, some of the very earliest things we've ever seen. What, what's the point of going back there? Well, it's a bit like looking at the universe when it was a baby. Uh, we're trying to see, therefore, how you get from a baby to the fully matured universe that we now live in. And in fact, we have a lot of questions about just exactly how you put together things from the very beginnings of the universe. So. This first image uh, deals with that. Uh, although the telescope is going to do many other things uh, besides looking deep into the universe. So it looks deep and it looks at things with in detail. So these are the two things that it really can do very, very well. Tell us a little bit more about the telescope itself and, and um, you know how spectacular this is, what we're seeing now. Well, well, the telescope itself is uh, is almost miraculous in terms of the way that it's uh, been put together and uh, that is now functioning in space. Uh, you've seen the set of hexagonal mirrors uh, that uh, probably in images uh, in the past, uh, those were originally folded away when it had to be, uh, it's so big it had to be folded up to be put into the Ariane rocket, the biggest rocket that Ariane actually has. And, uh, and then it was deployed in space. Uh, it, in order to make those mirrors move to exactly the right place within a small fraction of a centimeter, they had to be uh, moved with uh, small actuators. And if just one of those hadn't worked, you would have had a problem with uh, being able to focus properly and uh, all of them worked. Every single motion that had to be done to move parts on this telescope in space uh, worked over a period of the first month or so it was in space. Generally speaking, we don't like to put too many moving parts into things in space. 
in case something just doesn't go exactly as it's supposed to go. This telescope went all out to, uh, to have mechanisms that were going to uh, be able to move into place in space. And that's something we haven't really done before. And they, it all worked very smoothly. Incredible images which have just uh, been released. And um, yeah. we understand that the mission is expected to last for up to 20 years. So there's certainly more to come. Astrophysicist Anthony Marston, thank you so much for joining us.